Hi and welcome to the channel, The Code School. Kindly subscribe to the channel to get the latest information. Through this video, I'll be demonstrating how to create EFS file system and share it in more than one EC2 instances by mounting the same file system. Let's get started. Log into your AWS management console using the account that has the sufficient permission to handle EFS and EC2 instances. You can click on EFS from the services. Once you see the splash screen of the EFS, You can change the uh, different uh, region if you don't want it in a selected one. The one that is current is Ireland. But if you want to do it in a different one, you can do it. I'm switching it to North Virginia. But if you want to continue with the one that you have currently selected, uh, you can continue as well. So here in this screen, uh, it will show me the default VPC and all of the availability zones that is there with the North Virginia and currently they have six different availability zones available in North Virginia and this is the largest so I'm not deselecting any of them that means I'm making my file system of EFS available in all of the availability zone if you want to adjust you can uh, do the modification accordingly next step would be to uh, make any changes if you want uh, if you want a different uh, storage throughputs you can uh, do it or if you want any kind of uh, life cycle management which is uh, EFS AI IA in frequent access uh, based intelligence which will detect if any infrequent access on a file it will automatically archive and put it to the cheapest storage so if you need any such things you can uh, make a modification on this screen otherwise we are good we can go to the next uh, screen where we verify what selections we have done and then click on create file system once file system is created successfully you can see the file system appearing in all of the availability zones and currently the status of uh, the mount target is under creation so it will take a couple of seconds to we'll open one more uh, AWS management console window and go to EC2 service From the dashboard click on running instances and then say launch instances select the first image which is Amazon Linux we'll go with the default one you're not making any modification just make sure you have a auto assign public IP enabled We're not uh, making any modification in the rule here you can add one rule in the security group for nfs as the efs works on a, a, a nfs network file system which is uh, basically network based protocol which allows the file sharing file uh, operations basically so you can select from the Dropbox here in the type and uh, in the uh, source we are going to copy the security groups from here so which is under creation we can refresh should be ready by now so you can take the security group and paste it over here that means we are opening the NFS port to the specific security group from here and launch the machine 
with the key pair which is already created or if you if you do not have you can or if you want to create uh, you can select the other options accordingly but you need a key pair make sure you create it or you use the one that you have go to the instance which is being uh, launched right now uh, you can modify and uh, say server one as a name or we'll have more than one ec2 instance so let's label it as a and uh, let's repeat it uh, to create one more server and this one is in uh, availability zone one so let's launch the uh, one more server and this time we may select uh, we can select uh, availability zone two same process uh, not changing anything else other than the security group so security group rules nfs is the one that we are selecting and uh, we are testing the security group that belongs to the efs so elastic file system has this security group and we are opening it for over the nfs port number 2049 just review and launch uh, same rule applies here for the key uh, uh, key pair you must have a key pair so either you create or use existing one server is in provision right now once we go to the uh, ec2 instance window here we see the server is uh, provisioning and uh, process is in progress we can label this uh, particular server as a server 2 just for our convenience let's remove the filter and see both of the servers are getting provisioned uh, possibly the server one we can log in now and start uh, it's still processing the initialization process but it is ready for use over the SSH so we can continue the SSH connection so let's uh, copy the IP address of the first server and uh, then start uh, SSH connectivity I'll be using the command prompt from Windows but feel free to use putty or any other tool that you prefer to uh, continue so I'm going to just say my key pair name this path so let and uh, SSH file and uh, the My server one which I have connected and once I have connected uh, I can just go back to EFS once and click on the link which is given uh, with the instructions uh, for mounting and uh, come back over here we'll copy the commands and do it so let's understand the command here so this is EFS uh, utilities or NFS utility which uh, which is required to be installed on our EC2 instances where we want to mount so before mounting this utility is required to be there which will help uh, in the mounting of the file system which is uh, available over the internet so let's take this command and uh, go back here paste it start installing it installation is very quick process so then we can uh, uh, do the folder creation so we can take uh, these commands and do it you can type if you prefer um, just type there and uh, give a folder name you can give any folder name the directory that you want to create uh, here in this case we are using the EFS Yes, if you change the directory name, uh, try to change the directory information over here as well in this command. We expect this uh, mounting process to be completed just to confirm how if the mounting is completed or not. You can say df minus h and it should reflect in the file system. So, oh, sorry, this line reflects that this is the network uh, 
file system which is mounted with the 8.0e which is uh, the EFS you need to measure the storage. This is flexible storage which uh, grow and shrink based on the uses and uh, Amazon Web Service only charges for the file size that you um, use uh, on the storage. Rest of uh, the area, it doesn't allocate the area and uh, it, it uh, allows you to dynamically grow or shrink your size and based on the current size it will um, build you right so here we are kind of uh, done with the mounting and uh, what is needed is to be in uh, the folder so we have created a directory called efs and here we can list uh, the command uh, there is there is no uh, file exist so far and this uh, folder is basically created in the efs which is uh, which is here but uh, we are able to use it in a server one and uh, we are going to just uh, do the migration of the folder test onetxt and then uh, here we'll say hello this file is And we save it and, uh, we can just see if the file is created yeah with this content and uh, let this window rest it here and we will connect with the uh, window 2 uh, that means the server 2 and uh, let's open one more time put our uh, command prompt or terminal which supports the I'll go to the downloads folder where my key is. Reference. Will help me to connect. We can start following the same process uh, for mounting so we need to install and uh, this install command is specifically for uh, amazon linux but if you would have selected any of the other linux flavor uh, then you have to use the below given command according to your operating system that you have selected and uh, make a note that uh, efs only uh, only is available for linux platforms not for windows so uh, coming back over here uh, we'll do the installation it's very quick and uh, then follow directory creation and uh, then run a first command rest of the commands are for according to your uh, utility and uh, what what you are trying to you know uh, use as a helper command right so if it is not EFS utils and it is NFS util or NFS common util, which is different uh, utils all, all the way. So according to that, you have to select the command and do it. So we are going to go with the first one, which will help in our case. Uh, so very tough to select, yeah. And uh, then run this command, which will help to uh, do the mounting but before that i can show you df minus h which will show the mount points which is available to the system so there is only drive of um, this command and if we use the df minus h after this then you see the new drive has been mounted and this drive is the network location right so this is the uri given of um given of the endpoint given for, uh, from the efs basically right so let's say we want to go to efs directory and uh, list list out so we see one of the file created and this file was created from this server so first server uh, which has created this file and uh, 
we did through this commands right over here and now from the server 2 we'll uh, just do the uh, file output just see that uh, if the file has the same content yes uh, we can also create one more file from this server as a uh, testing so that uh, server 1 reflects the same in a real time so we'll just see that here we say hi Here, close the file let's see if we have test 2 test same text yes come back over here and the same time just see that the other file is created so we can say cat test txt and we have both of the servers having the same file so it doesn't matter how many number of servers you want to add up here all of them can share the real-time data generally the EFS are more fruitful uh, in a kind of infrastructure where you deploy your uh, docker based services and containers does not uh, uh, basically the containers creates lots of log file or if container based databases does not ha have to have the EBS based uh, um, storage but they can mount to the uh, EFS and uh, start uh, uh, persisting the information there and read the information from there in the real time many other servers can um, share the same uh, database uh, files or the log files that uh, any docker or docker containers writes from any of the EC2 instances so this is a good use case basically where EFS fits in there are several other also hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to get the latest uh, videos all the times and uh, i wish you happy learning